sure that both goalkeepers are ready. It's the FA Cup and the start of a journey hopefully for Telford here on BBC Radio Shropshire on DAB and online and we are underway. Lovely ball square by Meachin to Salmon. Looks to play it long up towards Brown. Looking to test them out. Brown could have a chance here. And he scores! Andy Brown has scored by Buckhill and it passed the keeper. The defender and the keeper did not have a clue that Brown was going to do that. And his Buckhill has gone into a bottom right-hand corner. And that is a magical goal in the FA Cup. Telford 1, Starbridge now. Fantastic start for Telford. 57 seconds on the clock there when Andy Brown just siphoned, sorry, back heel back into his own net. What a way to mark his... Keeping number. the high line, Will Salmon just in front of the halfway line, played it long. And then Andy Brown up against the defender, managed to back heel it. Here comes Starbridge at the other end. And makes it got an equaliser! Starbridge have scored and Telford have fallen asleep at the back from nothing at all. It's a simple goal for Starbridge and they've got themselves back on terms. Telford won, Starbridge won. Yeah, Telford's defence really guilty of going to sleep there. Through ball from Ryan Rowe and Drew Canavan there just to tuck that one away and equalise this tie. Less than two minutes on the clock and it's 1-1, Nick. What an unbelievable start to this match. And Corner for Telford below the control tower on this left-hand side. It's going to be Greg Mills to take it right-footed, his natural foot. And he comes towards the back post. There's Trainer. Trainer shoots! And scores! Bill Trainer on the boy! Blasts it past Lewis Solly. And Telford have scored again. It's 2 1. And if we look at the stopwatch, we've only had five minutes in this FA Cup game so far. So simple, wasn't it? Phil Trainer in acres of space at the side, at the far post, just leaped up and side footed Mills' car corner. Absolutely. The referees have very uh, rarely blown his whistle so far. It's been a very open game indeed. Here's Canavan from 30 yards to Ryan Rowe. Rowe shoots and equalises. And look at the gap between the midfield and defence. They've been put under too much pressure there. Ryan Rowe and Canavan again linking up. And they've got an equaliser. And Telford have got to be very careful because they could be. I say very, you know, quietly, but uh, it's going to be one of these games, Chris Hudson, where Stourbridge could well beat Telford. It's been so open. That was real quality there from the Stourbridge two at the front. Canavan and Rowe have caused Telford so many problems. And Canavan there, I think he, he sort of fainted as though he was going to I'll shoot. I'll tell you what, it's all happening, I don't know it? what I mean. But can you tell what I mean? No? <laughs> Corner's taken. Newton whips it into the back post. Brown with the head and Murray's there! And Murray's scored! It's 3-2! six-yard box, he heads it into the corner of the net, and it's 3-2 to Telford. Oh, I just where you turn, Nick? There's, there's goals, there's drama. I tell, Starbridge will be thinking a second ago they should have had a penalty, and then they've been exposed at the other end with their poor defending. The short corner routine did work this time. Mills to Newton, Newton's the left edge of the penalty area, and Mills, we know, has got quality from these sort of situations. Two-man wall in front of him. The keeper on his back post. Mills looks to shoot and scores! Greg Mills spotted the gap. The wall didn't do its job. And Lewis Solly, scrambling to his right-hand side, couldn't stop him from going in. And this first half is turning into a wrap. Telford 4, Stavridge 2, and we've only had 30 minutes gone. I'll tell you what, this game's just ridiculous. Now. Four shots for Telford now, four goals. And well done for Greg Mills there. Just maybe the keeper moved too far to the left, anticipating the cross. Mills saw the gap there. Really Abbott making a promising run down the left wing. The ball takes a nasty bobble. Now he looks to shoot himself and hits the bar. He's Meachin! Oh, great save from Lewis Solly. Meachin, six yards out. Struck it, and Solly knew nothing about it, hardly. Stourbridge two. Nice square ball over towards McCone. On the edge of a penalty area. Through to Ryan Rowe. Rowe up against Young. Young comes out, and a very brave piece of goalkeeping. Two all the score. Still Arsenal nil. West Brom two. Adams shoots some distance. Great save from Lewis Solly. One, Shrewsbury two. Lionel Ainsworth at the death for the Shrews, who's possibly scored the winner in League two. In comes across from Philip John. Shane Killock, that's five for 
for Telford. It was a great corner. Up it came to the edge of a six-yard box. Kill it with a great header. Heading it down into the back of the net. It's Telford 5, Stanbury 2. And Telford are through to the next round of the FA Cup. Yeah, possibly suspect marking again from Stanbridge there. Shane Killick always good in the air, but to allow him a free header from six yards out is not good defending. But Telford... Post. Trainer and Bailey next to the penalty spot at the near post is Abbott and Liam Murray. Plenty of height in there for Telford, but they can't get beat that man Marn at the near post. Telford are through, they've won by five goals to two here in the FA Cup of the New Books here. Let's pass you back very quickly to our other featured game where it's Wickham 1, Shrewsbury 2. We'll be back here very shortly.